so we're back to the heavy bag with the bands. Now, as you know, I'm a big fan of heavy bag with the bands to simulate grasping, grabbing clothing, grabbing material. Um, I'm also a huge fan of practicing our clenching techniques with the bands on the heavy bag. So, as you may or may not know, uh, clenching is like a really big thing that happens in the street. One thing that I loved about my time studying Muay Thai was all the clenching that we got to do. So, clenching is going to look something like this. Classic Muay Thai clinch, hand around the back of the neck, and we're both at this range here. We're not hugged up all the way, but we're also not out here fighting. We're in that middle range, that clenching range, all right? So the first thing that I want to do is take this band, and I want to make this arm unavailable. Because what he's going to be doing is he's going to be overhooking one of my um, arms, more than likely, okay? This is not always, this is not everyone, not everyone trains Muay Thai, but this is the specific drill that we're doing. He's got one hand taken care of with an overhook, the other is an underhook under my armpit, right? Overhook, underhook. So that's the concept that we're working with. I've got one arm available to fight with, and the other arm is kind of unoccupied. Now, we can use one band for kind of light resistance, maybe to simulate grasping the back of his neck as well, but generally speaking, what I like to do is use a sturdy band, and I'll use two to make it a little bit more uh, obvious to my subconscious brain that, hey, this hand is really unoccupied. Now, the first thing I want to do, obviously, is get kind of a good clench, a good grasp on the back of his neck or, you know, in the street, maybe the back of his clothing, whatever that might be, back of his hoodie or something. But the second thing I want to think about is nice, straight, tall posture. Okay, this is very important because why? He's going to be actively trying to drag my head down. He's going to try to pull my head down and get knees to break my posture down and you inevitably get a takedown on me, right? You want to break his posture down, get him a little uh, broken down, knee strike, soften him up, and then what? Oy! Get him with one of those sweet kicks or ear or whatever it is. But or also, you just simply want to get his head drunk down enough so you can get, boom, good knee strikes on him, and then what happens there? Maybe he sprawls on you, injuring your cervical spine. There's a lot that could go wrong here. So what I want to do is make sure I have a good old, um, street posture. Practice like I'm uh, one of those red coats back in the freaking uh, British times in our meditation, right? Well, that's what you want to be thinking about. Strong neck muscles, don't let him drag you down, all right? Now what we want to think about is getting our hand working here and getting just a little bit of space, all right? So this is very important. This is integral to this drill, all right? One hand is here, it's unavailable. I just simply want to attach to him in some way with this and start trying to actively break his posture down. He's going to be doing the same to me. I want to go head up nice and tall, right? Maybe not expose too much of myself, but I also don't want to let him drag my posture down. Now, I don't want to stay here hugged up, and I don't want to be in kissing distance of him. I want to get this hand involved and push away a little bit. Next thing I want to do is I've got enough space now where I can start deploying an elbow. Bah! All right, now at this close of a range, again, we don't have the option yet of coming back and getting all of our body weight into the elbow. That's the point of this drill. All we are here, We've got enough space to deploy a short little choppy elbow. This is what I want you guys to start working with. Is just posture up, get a little space, deploy that little short choppy elbow. I want you to work on getting as much power behind that short little choppy elbow as you can. So, one, two, we've got a little bit of space here. Now notice how my footwork, my hips are. I'm gonna drop my weight into this elbow as much as possible. Therefore, maximizing all of my body weight that I can get into this one small surface area. Now, where are we aiming this elbow? Obviously, we're aiming clavicles, nose, jaw, eyes, uh, all the same areas, temples that we usually would. Again, I have to, have to, have to preface this with, while I'm doing this, the guy is also going to be doing the same thing to me. So I have to actively be working on protecting myself and any time that I make a little gap, that I make a little space here, not only is he at risk, but so am I. So as soon as I do this, I deploy that little choppy elbow, 
and I come back. I make space to deploy the elbow, come back. All right, make space, deploy the elbow, come back. Maybe then I throw a knee. Maybe then I do something to try to break his posture down, right? So here, deploy that choppy elbow, I come back. Maybe then I step and I try to drag him away from me, right? And that's another drill that we can do another time. But here, deploy that little choppy elbow, knee strike. Now I've got his mind on his defense. Maybe then I grab the back of his hoodie and I, and I, right? Maybe I try to throw him this way. Maybe I try to step this way and get him and throw him this way. It's a little bit difficult with the bands again because when you try to, when you elbow him and we meet him, more than likely that overhook that he's got, it'll, it'll soften enough for you to kind of drag it out, right? Especially gets trapped on the gloves, but we can simply go from here, make a little space, short choppy elbow, move. All right, make a little space, short choppy elbow, move, and just practice moving a little bit so that in the street, make space, short choppy elbow, move, and then you, can, you know step, throw him, whatever it is that you you want to do. But that's the drill, um, have fun with it, train it, expand upon it. Please let me know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, if you are a Muay Thai guy or girl, and you have uh, significant you know, clenching, grappling experience, I wanna hear from you. Let me know some good drills that we can start to do with these bands. I'd really love to get more going here and kind of make a series about working with bands and tires and things like that on the heavy bag. Until next time, please remember, check out the website, gutterfightingsecrets.com. We've got the original Gutter Fighting uh, Cabanas DVD, as well as some really kick-ass products uh, about espionage and training your mind to be a warrior, all that cool guy stuff. You are your first and last time in defense. Don't choke around about that. Take it seriously because the world's gone crazy. So let's train these techniques, train them well, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.